Good morning everyone. So I just got here at the little about half a six and I'll show you where the garden is currently and how everything is progressing. The pat choy got eaten by slugs, but that's fine. I'm gonna give it to the hens who love it. Here I've got the beetroot which I'm going to probably harvest um, soonish or pick up the bigger ones and let the ones grow. And here I've got the mini carrots and then here there was the radish which I harvest and I ate, which is lovely. Here is the two pumpkins I have and some carrots. They're starting to flower. And there's some little things growing there. Here there is the curly kale. It's looking pretty good. And more carrots, but these are bigger ones. And in here I had six sunflowers which got eaten by slugs. I saved one here, which should hopefully flower soon, and I thought we'd place it with this little orange flower. Here are the peas which are starting to flower. There's a bit of a mess in there, but yeah, that's got some peas. Here I had radish and three courgettes. I've harvested the radish and now I've got lots of courgettes growing. Okay, so here is an explosion of purple sprouting broccoli and sweet corn. Yeah, this was an experiment. I'm not really sure if it's meant to flower yet or... But we shall see. These taste really nice. Um, and I've got the sweet corn. And you may recall that in the last video this box was full of the small butternut squashes amongst other things. So I think that's I think that's butternut squash, there's a few of them, and I think I have some peppers, I think that's a pepper seedling, but there's a few in there, they haven't done very well, they keep getting slugged or just dying, and I've got some nasturtiums which I keep planting elsewhere, and I've got this little rogue tomato, but yeah, if you remember, I had quite a few butternut squash, so I built this. My friend and I had fun building this, but the butternut squash slash courgettes, mm. aubergine, and the free purple, no, normal broccoli. Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there could be something else. Could be. It could be. It could be purple. So yeah, this is all the remaining butternut squash, which hopefully will produce low. There's still some pepper sprouting broccoli there. My friend, her parents gave me these regular broccoli, and this is the rest of the butternut squash. So yeah, we'll just see what happens here, really. There's another cheeky nasturtium there. That's meant to be an aubergine or an eggplant, but I don't think it's going to do anything. And in here, slightly eaten by slugs. I want to do something about that. I have my sprouts and a little cluster of cabbage here. So that's going to taste awesome. And then in there I've got four butternut squash over there which I need to build like a trellis for. Oh yeah, and little chickens. Oh, colourful rainbow chard. Which I've eaten a bit of. But I think it's the same problem with the spinach. There's not enough room in the box so it's going to seed. And these guys, hi, hi ladies, 
have been producing some eggs. <gasps> oh, we have eggs! And I think that's everything outside. So yeah, it's all kind of exploded. But that's a good thing. So, the polytunnel. So, in here, we've got the four peppers, which are starting to flower and produce little peppers, which is awesome. And um, I've got some more tomatoes. Here, I've got three cucumbers, which I need to build a frame for them. Um, but they are starting to flower, and there are little cucumbers appearing. So I've been self-pollinating them. Over there I've got some tomatoes from my dad. Thanks dad. Um, some, so yeah, and this little basil plant there. Here I've got, which I thought was a cucumber, but it actually turned out to be a courgette plant. So more courgettes. And in there, I've got the two watermelon plants. So yeah, they're growing, which is fun. And here are all the tomatoes. Yeah, and then this is the cluster of tomatoes I saved. I've just been self-pollinating these just by gently tapping them. But I do have some tomatoes growing. And they haven't gone red yet. Bill, who, um, who owns this land, he said I could put them in a brown paper bag and it'll make them go red. So, that's exciting. So, I think my job for today is to do some weeding, sort the tomatoes, make some kind of trellises, and go from there really. if any cucumbers actually grow. There are some little cucumbers like there which I have pollinated with the male flower so we'll see what happens. So yeah. Okay so that's a bit better. I kind of don't like having so many tomato plants in here just in case something gets a disease and it kind of spreads and it's just like keep it quite clear. So I've kind of secured the tomato plants back but there's still yeah, I put way too many in. That's a bit better. I made a little teepee for the watermelon. I've seen a female watermelon plant flower there. So I'll have to get the male and pollinate that. Yeah, something's been nibbling my courgette. But I've got a big one there. Which I'll harvest. So, if we can pop a few mini carrots, maybe. See in there, so we'll see what. Ta da! This is a, a small mini carrot. Nice!
man. I was just about to leave and I saw there was a cabbage white under the net. And it's a little egg and that little dot there. 